Oh, sorry. You should be in bed. It's just a cold. It's nothing. It's the flu and you'll end up giving it to the rest of us. Hey, what you need is a hot cup of lemon juice with a bulb of garlic in it. Not just a clove, a whole bulb. Oh, yeah, I could really see that improving my social life. My old mum used to swear by half Bundy and half beef tea. She oh. reckoned it cured everything short of the bubonic plague. Yeah, and if the booze bus doesn't get you, mad cow disease will. Oh, great. Yes, Miss Lonsdale, how can we help you? Is anyone aware that there was an explosion last night? An explosion? Where? In the state forest. My place backs onto it. It's probably just forestry workers clearing stumps. At night? No, I don't think so. It's got to be one of the... Excuse me? It's got to be one of those old gold fossickers. Greedy bastards, and I want something finally done about it. Yes, well, it's actually not illegal to fossick for gold in the state forest. With dynamite? All right, we'll look into it. Thank you. Sergeant, look into it, will you? Constable, get on to conservation forests and lands, see if anyone's been doing any clearance or anything. Right. So, who feels like going down to the woods today? <laughs> oh, a couple of raw eggs, half a bottle of Tabasco. Works every time. I think we've got some Tabasco. I think I'd rather take the woods. You're with him, Joe. <laughs> oh, give me a break. I've already had one dose of flu this year. It's not a flu, it's just a cough. <laughs> Keep your distance, all right? Oh, do you mind? Oh. No sign of anything unusual, anyway. Mm. 208, receiving. Go ahead, Jonesy. Yeah, conservation, forests and lands informed that they had no one out there last night. Certainly not with explosives. Roger that. What's that? That's an old gold mine. Let's take a look. There's a lot of them around here, both vertical and horizontal shafts. Oh, thanks for telling me. I would have been watching my step Oh, there's nothing much to worry about. Most of them were filled in years ago. There's a few amateur prospectors around, nothing serious. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> what a great day this has turned out to be. First, I get this cold. Flu. Flu, cold, whatever. Over there. Not again. What? My tomatoes. What tomatoes? Exactly. Someone's been helping themselves. It was my lettuces a couple of days ago. I didn't know you grew veggies. Well, somebody knew. Who is doing this? Foxes. A vegetarian fox. <laughs> Maybe the leprechauns took them. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> uh, and neither is that. Come on. I'm going to get this stuff down you, and you're going to get in the bed and rest that sprain. Sort out the great veggie robbery later. Explosions, man traps, what the hell's going on out there? I spoke to the forest manager and he reckons there's a bit of argy-bargy going on between the prospectors and the local greens lately. I except it's only been a war of words so far. I mean, this looks more serious. And don't tell me, the aforementioned greenies are the forest, forest preservation, preservation network. These things are plastered all over town. Convener Kelly Lonsdale. Yes, well, let's get in for a chat, eh? <laughs> Why waste the phone call? Should be Sergeant, here. Sergeant, we're well aware of your history with Miss Lonsdale. Maybe it's just me, but I thought uni was for study, not for being a loud Nevertheless, she might be able to shed some light. How stupid. Oh, tucked up in bed, safe and sound, boss. <sighs> Mount Thomas Police, Sergeant Gallagher speaking. Oh, hi, Tess, it's Ben. Hello, Ben. How are you going? Um, yeah, I just wanted to... Can I go back to work? No, you can't. Don't be ridiculous. Get back into bed. Tess, come on, please. I'm desperate. I'm bored out of my skull. Can, can, is there something I can do? Filing? You're supposed to be resting your leg. Uh, oh. 
Not to mention getting rid of that flu. What are you trying to do? Put the whole station on the sick leave. Tell him to stay put. Did you hear that? Now get back into bed, curl up with a good book. Or even a bad one. Ah, uh, Miss Lonsdale. Patrick Ashen. Yeah, I remember. Oh. Uh, would you like to come through? Mm. Uh, John? Uh, straight through there. So does this mean that you're taking action? Uh, it well, means we're investigating <clears throat> what's going on in the National Forest. What's going on is environmental vandalism. You've got evidence of that, do you? Evidence? It's out there in the forest, for God's sake. Soil erosion, degradation of flora. I meant could you name names? I might, if the police were prepared to do something about it, which you haven't done so far. Miss Lonsdale, two of our members had their lives put at risk today. I could have been blown to pieces. And one of our members fell into a hole in the forest and injured himself. It had been deliberately set up as a trap. Not by us. Well, it wouldn't be the first time one of your members has done something like this. Well, I've since made it clear that that sort of activity is not acceptable within our group. I wouldn't put it past one of those old fossickers, though, to get at us. They're the ones you should be questioning. Can you give us a name? Excuse me, detective, but there's a guy out here looking for Miss Lonsdale. Yeah. Please, just calm down, Mr Hughes. Look, I've got a right to know what's going on. <laughs> Nothing is going on, Well, sir. then where is she? Steve. Kelly, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just setting the police straight about a couple of things. This is Steve Hughes. He works with me. Yeah, yeah, so he's been telling us. He seemed to think we'd locked you in the cells or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, I heard they dragged you in. The typical pigs, what the hell for? It's all right, Steve. Apparently, someone's been setting man traps in the forest. They seem to think we had something to do with it. Us. Mm. Do you know anything about that, Mr Hughes? Of course not. Look, all we want is to protect the environment. We all want that, sir. If you do come up with any names, uh, you know where I am. Yeah. And if you want to talk to someone, you could start with that drunken old guy I ran into yesterday. Drunken old guy? There was this character poking around with a metal detector. Foul mouth. Swore at us when we asked him what he was doing. Hecko Farrell? Why him? No, it's just a hunch. I mean, the drinking, the swearing. And that area where the blast went off. Heck, and his partner had a mine out that way. Maybe he's working it again. It's a bit of a long shot. I haven't seen Heck around for ages. Last I heard was that he'd been shunted off to some nursing home in Melbourne. And you haven't seen him since? Wouldn't expect to. He took his custom down to the commercial bottle shop a few years ago. There's too many coppers around here for his life. <laughs> but he could be back in town. All I know is I haven't seen him in here. Sorry. OK. Thanks, anyway. Hey, do you want your lunches while you're here? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, don't worry about Ben, though. He's off sick. He's sick? Oh, he fell down a man trap in the state forest. What? Yeah, well, he's hurt his leg or something, and on top of that, he's got a rotten dose of the flu. Well, I hope someone's looking after him. Anyone home? <laughs> Take it that's a yes. <clears throat> what are you doing? The early warning system. Protecting my veggies. Oh. Anyone comes near my carrot, I'll set this off. <laughs> I think what you need is some lunch. Hello. That's a heck trademark. <laughs> a regular trail. Guess what? Heck shack. Looks deserted. Who's been eating my porridge? What the hell do you? Hecker Farrell. Oh, it's you, is it? Dick Tracy. <laughs> you look a bit rough, mate. I was on the grog last night. I suppose you've come about the body. Body? What body? Come on, I'll show you where I found it. This way. Come on. Hey, what's this all about? Huh? It's gone. This is where it was, but it's gone. What's gone? The body. It was definitely here. This is the spot. Look, you can see where it's dragged along. Looks like we've got a zombie on our hands. Echo Farrell. Who do you think? 
Look, just tell these two, will you? Tell them what? That I'm no liar. Heck claims he found a dead body in the bush. Only he seems to have lost it again. It was there, I'm telling you, girlie. OK, Heck, calm down. I'm sure we can sort this out. What are you doing back here? I thought you were in Melbourne. Well, I was. Stuck in a bloody nursing home with a lot of old crocs. That's no life for a bloke like me. So I jumped the fence, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not going back yeah, either. All right, I'm sure we can talk about that as well. Uh, Constable, why don't you show Mr O'Farrell through to the interview room? Yeah, this way, mate. Do I get a cup of tea too? We'll see what we can do, eh? Uh, so what's the story with this body? I was making it up, boss. Look, it was lying there as close to me as you are now, girlie. So, describe it. Describe it? Yes, describe this body. Um... Bloke, about 40, brown hair, blue jeans, black T-shirt. Oh, yeah, and brown boots. OK? Why don't you report this? I just have, to you. OK, when did you find the body? Oh, what's she getting at? Heck, just answer the question. I can't remember. Last night, I think it might have been the day before, I, I got through a lot of grog. Does it matter when? If you can't remember when, maybe you didn't find a body at all. I'm sure I did. I must have done. Well, let's just forget about that for the moment and tell us about the explosives. What explosives? The ones that blasted myself and Constable Stewart off our feet this morning. You are off your rocker, girlie. I'm too old to mess with stuff like that. But you have been prospecting. Well... I might have been looking for a bit of colour here and there. What's wrong with that? I've still got my licence. I'm entitled, no matter what those greenies say. You're not entitled to set man traps, though. Is that what they've been saying? I'm bloody well sue them. Can you prove it's not you, Heck? Can you prove it is? We might, if we had a good search of your shack. Well, you can't. And you shouldn't have gone inside my property in the first place without a warrant. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, you built that shack without council permission. Now, do you want me to check? Oh, all right, you can have a look. But you damage anything, you pay for it. You damage anything and you'll pay for it. I mean, the place was already a dump. Yeah, well, Heck was never one for the three-piece lounge suite with bone china teacups. You're telling me a broken-down table and a filthy mattress. But no explosives? No, there was a pickaxe and a metal detector. Maybe he's hidden the explosives somewhere else. Yeah, possibly. Well, what about the mantraps? Well, there was a shovel there as well. You don't say. That's hardly proof. So, all we've got so far is some non-existent dynamite and a non-existent body. We're doing very well. So, you tracked down that prospector yet? Hello? Hey. Uh, well, yeah, we have, as a matter of fact. I hope you throw the book at the old bastard. The we're continuing our inquiries. <laughs> What's that police speak for? Doing nothing as per bloody usual? Calm down, Steve. I'm sure Detective Hashem's doing all he can. Do you reckon? I wouldn't count on it. Look, why don't you grab a table and I'll get some drinks? Yeah, sure. Oh dear. Two beers, thanks. Mm. Steve can be rather full on sometimes. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> well, he means well. The more passionate people are about the forest and the environment, the better, don't you think? Yeah, I agree with that. But it also depends on... Oh, don't sit on the fence, detectives. Well, that's my job. Being objective, sitting on the fence. Well, we'll have to see if we can't change that sometime. Won't we? See you later. She fancies you. Veggies. Who is that? Who is there? Hey, you, come back here. Ben, what the hell are you doing? I saw something. I saw what? I'm not sure. There was just, there was something out there. It was trying ben, to steal my veggies. There was nothing out there. Oh, bloody hell. Look, I know you're sick, Ben, but do me a favour and try and keep the place a bit tidy. It's, it's, it's a pigsty. You're not listening to me. There was something out there, and it was trying to steal my veggies. 
I think you're delirious. I'm not delirious. How many of those flute tablets have you taken? I know what I saw. You said you weren't sure. No. Okay. What no, I'm no, I'm not interested, I'm... Ben. I'm not interested. I've had a rough day at work and I need to take a shower and you need to go to bed. So just do it. Yeah. Perhaps you're right. That's what I need. A good night's sleep. Night, mate. You stay where you are. Hi. Oh, no, you don't. See what? It was up there, and it flew out the door. Flew. It had wings, Paige. Wings and a human face. So... How are you feeling this morning? Shocking. Oh, aren't they surprising gallivanting around in the middle of the night? There was something there. There's someone I saw him. And it flew? Yep, out the door. Oh. Come on, mate. It's all in your mind. You didn't see it. I think you've taken too many of these. You were hallucinating. No, I wasn't. Fairies. I didn't say fairies. It's not very likely, is it? No, probably not. Of course it isn't. Now, I have to go to work, and I suggest that you go back to bed. Yeah, right. I'll do that. Good man. See you tonight. See ya.
Pedro? Ben, for you. He says it's important. Sorry. Yes, Ben? Um, I saw her. She's real. I wasn't hallucinating. So what? The fairy. I mean, it wasn't a fairy. It was just, it was a girl with a, a plastic wing. Plastic wings. And she lost one, and I found it, and and I tied it to a ball of string. Will you just calm down, please, and, and don't take any more of those flu tablets? No, you, you don't understand. I, I chased her, and, and she disappeared, and, and she ran over into that property over the back of your place. It, I, look, mate, I just want to know who lives there, because there's something really weird going on. Who are they? No idea. I think they're from... <laughs> Ben, will you just go back to bed? I, I just need to know, can you, can you tell me, find out who lives in that property? Find out what? Who lives at that property? No, I can't go to bed. Thanks for nothing. Report of deliberate sabotage. I beg your pardon? Someone's blown up my water tank. There was this almighty bang. Woke us both up. Both? Me and Steve. Stays at my place sometimes. Do you have a problem with that? Th then what happened? Well, then I dashed outside and the tank was completely demolished. Tin and water everywhere. Well, you sure it hadn't just collapsed? No, it was virtually brand new and I do know what explosives smell like. Anyway, we, we saw him running away. Uh, who? That old man Steve told you about. Uh, who... Who are you? None of your business. I'm a fairy. Is that what hit me? Yeah, Julia got you a beauty. You went down like a shot, just like they do in the movies. And what's all this about? Just a precautionary measure. In case try to escape. Escape? Try to make a run for it and you're done for, dude. Is this the way you always treat your visitors? Visitors are invited. You weren't. But now he's here, can we keep him? He's not a puppy, Ellie. You could always off him. That's what Bruce Willis or Arnie would do. OK, kids, how about you just let me talk to your parents, eh? You can't. They're not here at the moment. And even if they were, they wouldn't want to talk to you. Let's all just be reasonable, eh? Michael! Oh, that really hurt you, little. Are you all right, mister? OK, kids. I think you should know. I'm a policeman. Uh-oh. Well, that settles it. Can't let him go now. Oh, so I can keep him. Now, let's kill him. Must be a bit... <whistles> ben? No, heck, blowing up water tanks. If it was him. Yeah, well, I saw him running away. It doesn't mean he did it. Hang on. Sir. Gel ignite. Same stuff you used to blow up Ms. Lonsdale's water tank. Oh, heck, please. Come on, you love this bit. <laughs> Come 
Come on, Hick! Hick, you all for this nonsense. Come on. PJ? Holy Moses. What's this? Grave. I can flame and well see that. You're saying you don't know anything about it? Why would I know anything about it? Constable? There was a bloody dead body. That's him. The same bloke. I'm sick and tired of you, girlie. Didn't believe me, did they? Oh, heck, must have lost his marbles, eh? I told you there was a bloody dead body and I was right. All right, heck, you were right. Uh, crime scene? Uh, at the site. Cause of death? Uh, we're waiting for the medical examiner. Any idea who he was? No idea, just the clothes he was wearing. OK, Hick, so maybe you can tell us what happened with this poor bloke. Hey, hold your bloody horses. I had nothing to do with this. Well, Homicide would like us to have a chat with you. Homicide? Are you charging me? It's just a chat. And there's still the issue of Ms Lonsdale's water tank. Mistaken identity. So, I need to keep my fluids up. What's your name? Ben. What's yours? Ali Kennedy. Ali Kennedy. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. You know, I nearly thought that you were a real fairy when you scared me back at my house. I was only looking for my last wing. Yeah, I know. What's your name, Rambo? Michael. Michael? Good eye. Julia. Good. Well, now that we're all acquainted, how about you untie me and we can talk about this situation a little bit more sensibly, eh? I'll help. No! Ellie, the minute he goes loose, he'll squawk and he'll separate us. Separate? Julia, where are your parents? Just shut up! Look, I'm not the enemy, okay? Ellie? I said no! Gonna separate us. What I don't understand, Heck, is how the body got from the place you originally showed us to that grave. Unless you moved it. I didn't move it, not to there. What? Nothing. Hang on. You said not to there. Look. So you did move the body. I know what your game is. You think someone topped that black and you're trying to set me up for it. Did you move the body or not? Why would I want to top him? I don't know. The bloke from Adam. Are you sure about that? It's not another one of those greenies or some rival miner? It wasn't me. Oh, all right, then. I, I did move him, but I didn't kill him. It, it was the tripwire. Tripwire? Outside my shack. You set up a tripwire outside your shack? No, no, not me. Someone else. Oh, just listen, will you? When I got up yesterday morning, I found him lying just near my shack. He'd cracked his head on a rock, garked it. He tripped over the wire that someone had set up during the night. I figured it had been set up for me, and that poor bugger stumbled over it instead. Now do you understand? So why did you move the body and bury it? Oh, I didn't. Not to that grave. I moved it to the place I took you to first. Why move it at all? Because I knew it would be just like this. If it was found outside my shack, I would be the suspect. OK, so who moved it again and buried it? Oh, how many more times? i got no idea. And the tripwire? I threw it in the creek, didn't I? Well, for the same reason, for God's sake, because I know the way you wallopers think. I've done some stupid things in my time. Like blowing up that water tank. 
Yeah, I, I admit it, that was me. Bloody stupid thing to do. But I got plastered again, didn't I? Started brooding. Reckon those greenies were out to get me. Man traps and all that. I, I just wanted to get my own back. But I didn't kill that bloke. I really think Heck is telling the truth. Uh, he did admit to blowing up Kelly's water tank. Not that he had much choice. Not with the explosives and the fact that they saw him running away. And so you think he's lying about the body? I don't know. It's just this tripwire business. I mean, who says he didn't set it himself? Another drunken, crazy idea to keep people away from his shack? Or someone was out to get him. Same person who dug the man trap. Well, to frighten him off. Not a minor. Possibility. Why bother? I mean, Heck hasn't had a sniffer goal for years. Oh, what about... Kelly Lonsdale. She can be pretty militant, but I can't see her getting involved in something like this. No, nah, not her. You seriously think I was digging man traps and setting troop wires? Where the hell did you get that from? Ah, uh, the old loony, right? So, if you deny having anything to do with any of this. For God's sake, isn't it obvious who's doing it? It's him, O'Farrell. He says not. And I suppose he says we were seeing things when we spotted him blowing up Kelly's tank. No, he's admitted to that. There you go, then. Open and shut case. No, no, I'm afraid not. There is another element. Oh, another element. What we haven't told you is that someone might have died as a result of one of these offences. We haven't identified the dead man yet, but whoever was responsible could be guilty of manslaughter, even murder. Murder? VJ, prelim more tops for your report. Thought you might want to take a look. Any ID yet? No. It's the man in question. Just after he's dug up. Detective Hashim asked me to come in. Steve, what are you doing? What's going on? We're holding Mr. Hughes while we wait for homicide to arrive. God, homicide? Yeah, I was trying to take some direct action for a change. You keep talking about it, Kelly, but that's all you do is talk about it. A body was found near Heck O'Farrell's shack. The old man, he's... No, not him, someone else. Now, we could have really changed things, Kelly, you and me, together. We could have really been something. I should have realised how obsessed he'd become. Well, Steve Hughes isn't the only reason we asked you to come in. We still haven't been able to identify the man who died. We wondered if you could help us. Of course, if I can. Have you ever seen this man? I think I have. Well, when? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's him. It was just once, a couple of weeks ago, he was wandering around in the bush. I called out to him, said hi or something. But he ignored me, just hurried away. A bit strange, I thought. Is there anything else you remember about him? It's pretty ordinary. Jeans and T-shirt. He was wearing a cap. Some sort of computer company or something. It had a shamrock on the front of it. Thanks for your cooperation, Ms. Lonsdale. Yeah. So, see you around, detective. Right. And who would have sure. access to this room? Yeah. I thought you were a bit keen. She's not my type. BJ, looks like we kicked the goal. Gleason's software and St. David's had a Shamrock logo. Julia, what are we going to do with him? Be quiet, Ellie. I'm trying to think. Hey, you. Ben. Ben. Got any kids? Yes, Michael, I do. I've got three kids. I don't get to see them much, though. How come? Because they're on the other side of the country. Why is that? Because their mother and I decided that we couldn't really get along anymore. What about you? Where's your mother? Don't have one. She died a little while ago. Sorry to hear that. Then there's your dad, right? 
Surely he's going to come home soon. What is he going to say when he walks in here and he sees all this? Dad's not coming home. He's dead too. We buried him. We gave him a funeral. He goes in everything. So you see now why we can't let you go. Any luck? Well, they recognised him all right. Regular customer name's Matthew Kennedy. We got an address, and guess what? It's PJ's neighbour. Oh, so. Look, guys, I know that this must be a really tough time for you, but you can't keep this up. I mean, before too long, people are going to start asking questions. Sooner or later, someone's going to start wondering where I am. <laughs> More to the point, sooner rather than later, you are going to have completely denuded my veggie patch. And then what are we all going to eat? Eh? Look, my job is all about helping people. Please, let me help you. Julia! What? A cop car just pulled up outside. They've come for us. Julia, wait. They're not taking us. Done. Guys, careful, there's a gun! Go away! Please, This is really getting out of hand. You keep firing at them, they're going to have no option but to shoot back. I give you my solemn word, I will do everything in my power to make sure you guys don't get split up. Why should we trust you? Keep wild. away! Julia, I could have done that at any time. I could have come over there, taken the gun off you, but I didn't. You know why? Because I wanted us to be friends. And friends let each other make their own decisions. Look, Julia, whatever's happened, this is not going to solve anything. I want you to give me the gun. And then we can walk out of here together and we can try and sort something out. Come on. Please, Julia. I'm tired of eating all veggies. Ben's nice, Julia. I like him. It's okay, guys. It's all over. So the dead guy in the bush was their old man? Seems so. He was pretty miserable over his wife's death. Started taking long walks in the state forest. Only this time he walked into Steve Hughes' trip line. So what's going to happen to us now? Human services are going to find a foster family that's happy to take all of you. All right, Wendy? I think I might know some people. Why don't we go to my office and give them a call? Hey, guys. If you ever need anything, you know where I am. Thanks. Think they're going to be OK? I hope so. Okay, it's time for the pub, and Ben, you being hero of the hour, I'd say it'd be your shout. Shouldn't that be the other way around? Not in Fairyland. Usual. No, thanks. Since this morning, I've given up the grog. Mm. Well, what are you doing in here, then? Oh, I was just looking for... Oh, there he is. 
Dick Tracy. I've got a confession to make. Heck, can we do this tomorrow? I'm off duty. I did set that tripwire. I figured it playing those greenies at their own game. A bit of a laugh. The last thing I wanted was to kill some bloke. You've orphaned three children, do you realise that? Yeah, I know, Tom. I can't live with myself. I've even sworn off the booze. I reckon there won't be a lot of that where I'm going. You'd uh, better come down to the station with me. I'll um, Oh, no, it's all right. Well, that's a turn up. Like Steve Hughes down as dead cert for setting that trip bar. Yeah. Just goes to show you never can tell what's going on in people's heads. You shouldn't be drinking that. Oh, I feel fine now, much better. <laughs> Sorry, mate. 